Good morning, guys. Uh, it's Wednesday. <laughs> like, what day is it? I got my glasses on. I, I got something weird that popped up in my eye, like a red thing, like a stress mark or something. I don't know. So I'm wearing my glasses today. Um, like the first week I started making these videos, some girl on here was being mean and like compared me to some dude and I, <laughs> I don't want to wear my glasses anymore because I don't ever want to be compared to that guy. That's the worst when somebody compares you to somebody who's really ugly and you're like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> that's not fair. But uh, anyways, let's pray. Let's get into the word that I got real quick. Um, I think it's going to help you guys in um, I want to point people back to that video I made last night. I dropped it late because I had a long day of work and got put on me. But it's pretty cool. And it's got an explanation of a lot of what we're seeing today. So anyways, let's get into it. Father, we come before you. We thank you. We praise you. We bless you. Bridle my tongue. Help me speak encouragement and hope. <sighs> he just said, I'm near. Father, I pray that everybody here will feel your manifest presence. God, draw them nigh. God, we draw nigh to you. We want we want you to be a part of our every every day. Um, give us uh give us uh oil in our lamp for whatever is common, whatever we gotta face. We just lift it up to you. We pray encouragement. Um and God that we would just come into maturity as believers in Jesus Christ. We love you, we bless you. And we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray blessings of provision that you would open up the heavens and pour out blessings and then show people exactly how to use it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So he had me in. Ooh, that's a good good deal. I need to hook up my uh, this microphone real quick. Forgive me. I'm going to blink it out. And then, huh? Probably not because it takes that off. Anyways, I heard there's some distortion on some of the stuff that I talk about, and the mic helps, so um, hope that's a little clearer, a little louder. Anyways, here we go. Uh, first, we were in uh, Psalm 138, okay, and I just declared and decreed that, and then Psalm 15, and Psalm 15 was, was I think, what, what he was having me focus on. And so here it is. I'm going to read the psalm and then show you what I got. So it says, uh, the character of those who may dwell with the Lord. Lord, who may abide in your tabernacle? Who may dwell in your holy hill? He who walks uprightly and, and works righteousness and speaks truth in his heart. He who does not backbite with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor does he take up reproach against his friend in whose eyes a vile person is despised. But he honors those who fear the Lord. He swears to his own hurt and does not change. He who does not put out his money at usury. Usury is like uh, crazy uh, interest. Nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be moved. Okay, Father, I pray for conviction on that word. Um, and show us any time where we've been out of alignment with that in Jesus' name. Okay, so what he's showing me here, there's a lot of you guys that are pressing in. You're getting close to God, you're drawing nigh. If you do these things, this is how you're going to hear the voice of God. Um, and I literally want you to go camp out in Psalm 15. Read all of those things. He'll show you if you're out of alignment. He showed me, he showed me a couple, like the... I got angry the other day and the stuff I said was true, but it, it, it was still, I, I just, it, it's like, it doesn't need to be said. Okay. And I repented for backbiting or whatever. And it was, I mean, it was, it was honest, but we still need to speak life. And I had a momentary lapse of, of stuff because of frustration. Okay. He showed me that, um, nor does he take up a reproach against his friend. Um, a lot of times, guys, these things stem from hurts uh, for from people. They hurt us. Sometimes they disappoint us, and that's the other reason. So, and that's a hurt. Okay, um, when these things crop up, 
the people that hurt us the most are the ones that we love the most. That's just how it is. So the closer they are, the probably probably the worse they're going to hurt you. And people are going to hurt you. And that's just part of life. Okay. Uh, but go over this stuff. Sit in your prayer closet. Anywhere where you're off. Just repent. Father, forgive me for any time I backbited anything like that. I come back to you. Okay. And then just sit and wait and say, I want to hear what you have to say. Get me out of the way. Put your questions on pause. Put your um, your agendas on pause. Put your uh, your requests on pause. Put everything aside and sit. Lord, speak to me. Show me what you want to show me, okay? And it's probably going to be something where you're not even, you're going to be over here and he's going to be like, boom. He always does that. That's how God works, okay? Because he leads us. We don't lead him. That's hard for me. I mean, that's hard. I got a hundred questions this Sunday and I want them all answered like yesterday, you know, and that's, that's hard. It's hard, but that's part of the walk. Okay. Um, the other thing he showed me was, uh, James one 13 through 15. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempteth any man, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed then when lust has conceived it bringeth forth sin and sin when it is finished bringeth forth death okay so there's something called uh they're like they're like it's birth of sin okay i'm this sounds weird but this is kind of this is how this stuff works there's a representation for everything and this is just it's just a methodology of communication, okay? So when I'm praying this stuff, this is where it's at. It's called uh, uh, it's bring it forth death. It's it's basically <coughs> it's a birth of sin, okay? And we got to get that stuff out, okay? Because when it's full term, it brings forth death. So, Father, we just come before you. We pray that you would just abort any birth of sin, any pregnancies of the spirit not born of you. We ask you to pluck it out. We break agreements, alignments, covenants, and soul ties with whatever's bringing those things and the things themselves. And we command it to go in Jesus' name. And, Father, we pray for complete deliverance for people, for their marriages. And we bind and break off any enticing spirits coming against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And, uh, Father, I just pray for, like, a, a a sin birth control for everybody here. That they would just not even be led into that stuff. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. And now, the, uh, the thing is, is uh, those... Those things, a lot of times, they're like little seeds, okay? And what happens is the enemy comes in and he tries to sow tares overnight. And you'll just be sleeping. You don't even notice it. I hear it sometimes, and my wife, I hear what it's doing. And then, like, usually, like, the next day, like, my wife will just be grumpy for no reason. I'm like, what the heck? And I talk to her. But I hear it the night before. And what it is is it's the enemy he's coming in he's sowing tears while we sleep so when you pray in the morning just ask him to pluck out any tears that the enemy has attempted to sow while you were asleep and they're like and, and what i mean by tears is it's like little thoughts little uh little aggressions towards people little things like that okay that's how it works and he does it to take you off of course if he can get you picked up on resentment or bitterness or offense or something like that he can get you spun out it's like hitting the banana peel in mario kart okay and that's the whole point so stay on track realize where these enticing spirits are coming from they're trying to entice you off of off of your off the right track that you're on don't let them do it okay those are enticing spirits anytime the enemy's trying to get you where you feel like you're just like oh like you're forced into something or you just can't say no say no okay god doesn't ever tell you god doesn't give you something where you just can't say no now he'll 
he'll continue to buffet you to the point where you will yield to his his will but he won't he, he doesn't he doesn't tempt you okay and that's what he's talking about there <laughs> those things that come in and tempt you not of god so just reject him don't do it if you want to respond to somebody who's acting bad don't do it if somebody's online and they're they're running their mouth and they're like hit me hit me hit me don't do it those are enticing spirits they're being used by the devil recognize it for what it is don't think you're better than that person either they're just they're in a trap their foot is caught in a snare they're in a little a little bear trap okay um that's it guys go watch that video from last night it's good it's got some funny stuff uh it's got some interesting stuff too um i want to know if any of you guys have witnessed in the spirit like what i was talking about in that video go watch it and tell me um that's what it is there is a scriptural foundation for it paul talks about he uh he's he doesn't he doesn't know if he was taken either in the spirit or in the real world um things like that so th there's tons of scriptural basis for it um and you pharisees can just kick rocks i don't care what you say I, like you guys can just go like you're not about god um god bless you guys i love you i hope you have a great day um and then check that video out i want to hear what everybody has to say